Welcome to Average Joe's Gym's Home Projects, where we do projects and maintenance at home that even an average Joe can accomplish. We recently did a remodel in our kids' bathroom. One of the first things we had to do was remove this huge mirror off the wall and hopefully do it without breaking it. This is what it looks like when you're done. I'm going to show you some tips on how to get it off without breaking it. Let's do it. The only thing I had to buy for this project were these wood shims. You can find them at any local hardware store like Home Depot or Lowe's, or you can order them online. As usual, links are in the description. There's not really a whole lot of room for camera angles for this bathroom. This is pretty much what you're going to get. I apologize for not getting some more angles in there, but it just didn't work out with the way the bathroom's set up. I just want to warn you guys too, you don't want to tackle this project alone. With a mirror of this size, it's extremely heavy. So I recommend you get a couple people to help you out, just for the weight of the thing. I drafted my son and my wife to help out with this project. Basically I'm just taking this hammer and tapping the wedges down from the top. I need to sort of pull the mirror away from the wall very slowly, careful not to do one side too much and end up causing a crack or break which could eventually hurt somebody. I took my time very carefully with this project. Just a little bit at a time, we're talking millimeters. If you rush this thing, you can end up breaking it and end up hurting yourself pretty bad. As I always say, no home project is worth getting an injury or getting killed. If you're uncomfortable doing this, make sure you hire someone in some kind of professional manner that can do this for you. I'm going to let you guys in on a little hint here that kind of surprised me. As you tap these wedges in, they're going to start falling down between the mirror and the wall. That's okay, don't worry about that. They're, as they move down, then you can put in a couple more. I had to double up a couple to make it wider as this thing pulled away from the wall. Don't worry, just stay the course. It'll eventually pull away from the wall, removing it from the glue. I wasn't kidding when I said I took my time with this thing. You just gotta be really careful. I think I took a grand total of an hour removing this thing. Here's some high speed taps. I'll see if I can speed it up for you guys. Once I got the majority of the glue to release, I just kind of gave it nice gentle pulls just to remove it from the last few globs of glue. Once you get that done, you're going to have to address the little shelf that holds it in there at the bottom. We'll get to that in a second. So here I am, looks like I'm being a moron and trying to lift this off all by myself. But surprise, there she is. She started up at the top. We're basically trying to lift it out of the little shelf piece that holds the mirror in there. Once we get it up and off, we're going to be able to carry it out. This thing was super heavy. I am not going to lie. It was tough for the two of us to carry it out there without breaking it. So here it is, one huge mirror removed from our bathroom without breaking. As I said before, this is just the beginning project of a future remodel of our bathrooms. Please subscribe so you can be notified as I put on new videos from that project. If you enjoyed this, please check out our other projects also on Average Joe's Gym.